What is the value of the expression 9 squared minus 8 plus 5 inside the parentheses? Then multiply by 9 minus 7 inside the parentheses again. Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression is very deceptive and 99% of people get the wrong answer. Let's go step by step and solve it together. And the first step to solve this question, many people usually go straight to the exponent and write the whole expression as 81 minus 8 plus 5 inside the parentheses and multiply it by 9 minus 7 inside the parentheses again. Then they go to the first parentheses and instead of this expression, they write 81 minus 13 multiplied by 9 minus 7 inside the parentheses. And the next step, they go for the subtraction between 81 and 13, which I have highlighted in yellow. And instead of this expression, they write 68 multiplied by 9 minus 7 inside the parentheses. And the final step, they simplify the expression inside the parentheses and replace it with 68 multiplied by 2, which finally gives them the answer 136. And immediately, they conclude that the correct answer to this question is option D. However, it's not the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let me show you how to solve this expression properly. As you can see on the screen, in this expression, first we have an exponent, then a subtraction sign, after that we have a parenthesis, then a multiplication sign, and finally another parenthesis. To solve this question, we must strictly follow the PEMDAS rule. And this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We must perform all the operations in this expression exactly according to the PEMDAS rule in order from top to bottom. So, we must start with the parenthesis first, because according to the PEMDAS rule, Parentheses have the highest priority compared to the other operations. Okay, instead of this expression, we can write 9 squared minus 13 multiplied by 2. And the next step, we need to go to the exponent. Because in the PEMDAS rule, after parentheses, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, this expression simplifies to 81 minus 13 multiplied by 2. And the final step, it's time for the multiplication between 13 and 2 because multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. So, we we'll write this expression as 81 minus 26, which ultimately gives us the answer 55. That's great. Option C is the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 66 divided by 11 multiplied by open parentheses 72 divided by 12 closed parentheses? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's take a closer look and solve it together. Many people when starting to solve this question first focus on the expression inside the parentheses and instead of considering the whole expression they rewrite it as 66 divided by 11 multiplied by 6. And the next step, they go for the multiplication between 11 and 6 because they believe multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they simplify this expression and write it as 66 divided by 66, which finally gives them the answer 1. Then, without any hesitation, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question must be option A. However, that's definitely wrong. Alright, now let's go step by step together to show you how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule step by step. We must carry out these operations strictly in order from top to bottom. As you can see on the screen, in this expression, first we have a division sign, then a multiplication sign, and finally parentheses. According to the PEMDAS rule, we must start with the parentheses first, because parentheses have the highest priority compared to the other operations. So, we can write this expression as 66 divided by 11 multiplied by 6. Now, we need to perform the division and multiplication. However, it's very important to keep in mind that multiplication and division are on the same level of precedence. In this case, the best approach is to start from the left and carry out these two operations in order. So, First, we handed the division between 66 and 11, which simplifies this expression to 6 multiplied by 6. And finally, the answer becomes 36. Therefore, 
Option C is the correct answer to this question.